right, Vernon Adams Jr. And look at this, Canadian Football Hall of Famer. Look at us, look at us. I mean, look us together. Look at us with these beards. Yes. How cool are we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Feels you good. You look fantastic. Back at you, Jay. Back you at you. Look amazing. It's yeah. great to have you back in yeah. the building. It's good to be back. Um, Man, I've been excited about Vernon Adams Jr. What did you think? How did you think he did in his debut? Well, you know, 4-2 last year in, in replacing York. And uh, really, um, he went and did what he had to do. He was yep. dynamite in the first half. First drive was ridiculous, 9-9. Nine of A nine. couple times he threw in the coverage, and, his, and he got bailed out by his teammates. But uh, I can tell you, um, he handled himself, I think, extremely well. This right here is a mishap on defense, took full advantage of it. And, no doubt that Dominic Rimes and he have a little something going on. Why not? The guy was fantastic last year as well, and I'd be chunking the ball as much as I could. And, you know, a guy that I – this play right here, I just credit Jordan McSimmick for that because that was complete design. Had Watch him here. A little man in motion. Everybody jumps on the man underneath. Dominic Rimes sets up a replacement and and, uh, and, and Daly, and they go to work, and Vernon just took full advantage. That's Jordan McSimmick being out in front and giving the guys at a good spot. And I think a lot of talk, Jay, was how he was going, how Vernon was going to simulate in the Simic's offense. Yeah. And uh, I'd say if uh, first indication for week one, pretty dang, pretty dang good. I thought he was great. And on the other side of the ball, uh, how would you evaluate Jake Mayer? Jake, um, well, I, I think BC's got his number, you right. know, and they had his number in, in the semifinal last year. And uh, they had his number again tonight. Uh, put him in some awkward situations. I was really surprised. In the first drive, uh, Calgary really was having success running the football. And then they got away from it. I'm right. talking about for almost a quarter. And uh, was, we were screaming at the screen, you know, because the screen, because this is, this is what Calgary Stampeders are. They control the line of scrimmage with the best running game in the league. Kadeem averages 6.6 .6 yards a carry. And uh, they held him in check pretty much to the whole football game and put Jake in some second and long situations. Second and three, they're not pounding it in there. Yep. They're throwing the football as well. Um, you know, so I, I think they're going to have to take a long, hard look at where they're at. Um, and it, with, with some play calling. Yep. Uh, Mark Mueller's first time up there calling plays for the Stampeders. So a lot to be, uh, dis you know, deciphered there for the Sams. Former uh, University of Regina legend Mark yes. Mueller. Yes, uh, Lato <laughs> <laughs> Nephew of, the, of one of the greatest, uh, Ron Larry. Lancaster. Shout out to Larry, too, yeah. your dad. Um, Calgary, next place in Ottawa. BC will host the Elks. Uh, yeah, we'll be there. In week two. You guys are going to be in Battle's BC for going that. There. Yes, That's right. going to be incredible. But this week is not done yet. Let's take a look at the rest of the schedule. Maddie's going to be busy for the rest of the yeah. weekend. Fly out in the morning. Uh, Friday night. Yeah, Tabby's against the Blue Bombers. I'll be at that Red Blacks Alouettes game on Saturday. That one will be great, too. Yeah. Alouettes, uh, two and a half point home favorites against the Red Blacks. And then, uh, Manny, one of your old teams, yeah. Edmondson. Yeah. Someday they will win at home. Yeah. Maybe it'll be this Sunday. Yeah, it's an ugly streak. 17 losses in a row at home. you got to get one of those. And yeah. I think it's going to happen for Chris Jones and the Elks this year. It's going to be a fun year. Great to have you on the show, buddy. Absolutely, Jake. Good to see you, brother.